Hey everybody, happy Friday. Today is Friday, March the 4th, and today is the beginning of one of the largest motorcycle events in the world. It is Daytona Bike Week. Daytona Bike Week is a week dedicated to motorcycles in Daytona Beach. They do the event every year. Uh, at least half a million people show up and you know, apparently it's a crazy time. I don't really know too much about it, but I know enough to say that I've heard about it. And for today, for Free It Friday, I'm going to be showcasing some Hot Wheels cars that are actually not cars, they're motorcycles. So let's check it out. Alrighty, so when we think of the different kinds of motorcycles that Hot Wheels has done over the years, they've done so many different kinds of motorcycles. They've done sport bikes, like different Ducati bikes, as well as um, scooters, dirt bikes. Um, they've got the they've got a cafe racer i believe or a, kind of like a mini bike and in front of me i've even got a bunch of choppers as well as bobbers um i don't really know the difference but you know when i think of the bikes or the kinds of bikes that would be at daytona bike week these are the kinds of bikes that really stick out but you'd be able to find all kinds of bikes at daytona bike week like you'd even be able to find a bunch of um touring bikes cruisers stuff like that but as i said these are the bikes from my collection that really remind me of what you would see there. So let's dive right into it. When we start off, I've got the Scorch and Scooter. This is the first ever motorcycle that Hot Wheels produced. And it's a very nice one. I've got the first model or the first release that they did. This one was back in 1997. And what has always, I guess, piqued my interest is whether or not these actually stand you know i know they roll i've always wondered whether or not these can i guess oh yep yeah, it does stand and they do roll quite nicely and you know what's nice about this one is that it's almost an all metal casting pretty much all these bikes here are almost all metal the only part that is plastic would be the handlebar part right here but wow can't really make out what it says on the gas tank there but this purple paint is really nice let's sit that down there and oh let's just take a moment to see that thing stand wow all right let's set the rest free and then these two these two pretty much look the same. I don't know if these are from the same year, but you know, they're practically the same color. I think one is a bit more orange and the other one is a bit more red, but still a Scorch and Scooter, I believe. Yeah, so now that they're out of the package, you can definitely tell the one here, this one in my right hand, it does a lot more orangey. It does have a bit of a metallic flake in the paint. Features a quad exhaust, pipes, dual pipes on both sides of the bike. Wow, let's just park these over here. And what's interesting is that you can either park them on the side so they're tilted, or you can park them sitting straight up. And then the next bike I have here is the let's see this is the blast lane so i got four different ones here four different colors what's neat is that all four of these colors came, got released within the same year i believe it was i think one of these is from the year 2000 and the other three were from the year 2001 or vice versa i've got four different colors of blast lane let's take a look at these this as I open it, it is worth mentioning, none of these motorcycles that I'm opening up right now, none of them are actually based on a real life one. They are all unlicensed, meaning that they're just, I guess, designed by a Hot Wheels designer, um, depicting a real bike, but they're not actually based on a real bike. I really like the design on the gas can, as well as the flames, it's nice detail. And again, just like the other bike, this one does have plastic in it. 
This one does seem to have less plastic. The other one, um, more of the handlebar was plastic, while this one only the top portion. And just like the other one, this one you can either tilt it on its side or you can sit it straight up. Pretty neat feature. I think it's so cool how these ones have a protector inside to kind of help prevent it from jiggling around. Here's a nice gold one. Again, it does have the nice flames detail on the gas tank as well as the tail. This is a really nice gold color. And I think this is my favorite color here. This one is in blue. Wow. Really like this one. And this one, this particular casting, the, the um, what do they call it? The blast lane. It features only two exhaust pipes on the right hand side. Real nice. And lastly, we got this one. I can't tell if the body is actually black or purple. I can see that there's a purple outline on the wheels. Let's take a look. Ooh. Wow. Oh, this one has a bit of a different design. Instead of flames, well, I think there's a skull with flames. And then there's bones on the tail. That's nice. I really like that. And up next, we have the, the Woozy. This is from a lineup or segment in the mainline series called Cruise. And what's neat about the cars in the Cruise lineup is that they all feature long tails at the back, whether it be the motorcycle that's in the set or all the different cars. This one is a first edition, meaning that this casting was released in 2004. Um, I only have one of these. Um, this is actually, well, just kind of by looking at it, it's actually my least favorite. I don't really like it that much, but take a look. It is a nice color, without a doubt. The camera definitely makes it look a little bit more orange than it really is, but it's actually this nice red. The only thing I don't like about this one is that, you know, it does have two exhaust pipes, but none of them you see exit the actual bike itself. Although I'm guessing this indentation here on this side, as well as this one here is where it comes out. It would have been nice if they included that. Does this stand up? Yes. Does it tilt? This one doesn't tilt like the other two castings, but either way, still nice. Wow. And last but not least, this one here is the Bad Beggar. This particular casting was released in 2007, I believe. And this is actually the retooled model, which was released in 2016. So, sorry, the casting itself was retooled in 2016. This particular one, though, came out in 2021. So, the big difference between this one and the original one is that the original one that was... If you have one prior to 2016, the whole thing would have been metal. Um, but from 2016 onwards, they made part of the handlebars plastic. Kind of tell here. This particular one does feature a nice flame design all around it. Um, the biggest difference between this one and the other ones, other than it just kind of looking like a different motorcycle, is that when we look underneath, or well, when we look at the wheels, 
both of them are skinny. But when we look, let's say, at the Scorch and Scooter, the front wheel is skinny, the rear one is thick. So, makes me wonder if this can even stand up by itself. No, it can't. It either leans to the left or the right, but it can't stand upright. Well, let's put that in the back. No, nope, let's put that here. You know, one of the things I've always enjoyed seeing is a whole bunch of motorcycles just together parked in a parking lot like this. Um, one of my favorite things is always seeing a group of motorcycles show up to a car meet. Just love hearing that rumble, that sound from motorcycles. And wow. Looks nice. All right, so that pretty much wraps up today's episode of Free It Friday. Setting free those Hot Wheels cars, well, those motorcycles actually, was very fun. I've always wanted to set those free. And, you know, I finally found a reason to let them out of their packages. You know, I've, I really do enjoy tying the unboxing of these Hot Wheels cars with actual events when I can. And, you know, um, it just so happened to be Daytona Bike Week this week. So that was pretty cool. But I've got a unboxing uh, planned out for next week. So hopefully you guys join me when I set some more Hot Wheels cars free. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully we, guys, we see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Later.